Angie Combs. Thank you, Angel Banks, for that amazing warm-up video. Yeah, Angel Banks rocks. Yeah. yeah, she helped us out. She came in and made that. It's, it's, it was a lot of fun to work with her on that. It's time. We're here for the fifth time. Uh, how many, how many first-timers do we have at NGConf? Oh, wow. Nice. Awesome. How many two-timers? Three, four, five? We got some five. Wow. Okay, cool. This is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, this is the fifth time we've done this, and we're really, really excited for, for 2018. Yeah, this is by far, like, one of my favorite conferences because you get to meet so many amazing people and, like, actually get to talk to people, have fun, hang out with the Angular community for three days and make amazing new friends, see your old friends. It's fantastic. Yeah. And this is, this is kind of an intense crowd. Uh, it's big, it, it, especially when you consider the live stream. And we have a bunch of first-time speakers. Um, at our conference this year, so we want a round of applause for our first time speakers because, yeah. So, yeah, if you see these first time speakers, like, you know, give them a high five. It takes a lot of bravery to be like on this big stage with these yeah. lights and just like a bunch of Angular people staring right at you. And to follow up some of these <laughs> other speakers is tough, so, yeah. Uh, we've got some cool stuff this year. A couple of our speakers are going to be doing product announcements even. Very exciting. Very so, exciting. Um, 80% of the speakers aren't done with their, their talks yet, but these, these, a couple of our speakers have um, like really, really fought to get products ready for us. Yeah. So they, they actually made their sprint deadline. So. Yeah, like an arbitrary NGCOM deadline, they made it, so, <laughs> so yeah. So we have a couple of those, so if you see, if you see any of those, uh, help us get excited and support these, these uh, product announcements. So there is a quest. Has anybody started the quest this morning already? Couple, oh, nice! Couple. The go-getters. Yeah, so we the conference is themed '80s or Ready Player One style this year. So we added an Easter egg hunt, where there's prizes <laughs> and there's uh, things to find. There's hidden stuff. Yeah. Did any? How many people went to the movie last night? Yeah. Nice. And you're awake this early yeah. in the morning. That's fantastic. Good job. So how many? Yeah. How many of you caught the train? How many had a walk? Anyway, it's some walkers. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, participate in the quest. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then tonight we've got a party, and we'll talk more about it later. We wanted to front load one topic. One of the awesome <coughs> sucky things is about being in Utah is you have to have a, a band on your arm to get a drink. A wristband. So if you want to short circuit the line, you can go to the registration desk and get your drink band for the party tonight, and uh, you'll be good to go. But it's very important you remember that this band is very um, you. You can't replace it. You can't exchange cash for it, for yeah. the band. Yeah. So take care of take your band. Take care of your band. Yes. Just remember that. Oh, yes. So we have an irresponsible amount of prizes. An inordinate amount of prizes. Inordinate. I'm going to stick with irresponsible. <laughs> um, so some of them we're going to give away up here on stage, and a lot of them we're going to give out through the app. So grab your mobile device, install the ng-conf app on Android or iOS, because that's where most of our announcements and our giveaways are going to go through this year. If you yeah. see, if there's going to be a ton of prizes, so you want to install the app and pay attention to it, because if you see somebody's name that you know, you can let them know. And if you don't know them, it's like the best icebreaker ever. Like, I don't know who you are, but you just want to switch. But here's a switch, <laughs> and now we're friends for life. Exactly. Yeah. So throughout the years, we've accrued some extra ng-conf swag, and we decided to do something with it this year. It's retro swag. It's, yeah, this is the retro year. Yeah. So we, we made an ng-conf store, and you could buy retro swag. And 100% of the, the proceeds from the store, we're going to use to send attendees to conferences, Angular conferences around the world. Like scholarship money. Yeah. yeah. So if you have any chums back at the office that might want some EngieConf swag, head over to the store, get them something, and, and help out the community. Or so. if you just like, want to rub in the fact that you went to EngieConf and they didn't, you'll be yeah. like, oh, here's a really nice hat. Yeah. Or pretend you've been to more of them than you have been. <laughs> yeah. so we, in the, a lot of people have been asking about meals. We have food. We, we bought have food. Them. We have meals. Yeah. It's in the app, so if you want to check out what we're eating, check out the app. There's, there's a meals tab. Um, and we were saying, like, even if you're, like, keto, we have lots of fat. Yeah, if you're keto... So you'll be golden. Our keto deep-fried Twinkie <laughs> will put you into ketosis <laughs> in, like, a week. You'll be in ketosis. 
And then the, uh, the last thing we need to talk about is our code of conduct. And this is very, very important to us, and I'm sure it's important to many of you. And the NGConf team put a lot of hard work and care into the code of conduct because this is our way for everybody to have a great, comfortable time and to feel included. Like, I'm sure many of you out there, when you're in a group and you know, you feel that inclusion of the community, how great that feels. So we all want to feel that great. So it's really important that we take a look at the code of conduct. There are signs out in the hallways. There's it on the app, and you can find it on the website. So take a look at it, because it helps kind of guide you to a place where we can make our community a really fun community and a really amazing conference for everyone. So even all the vendors here, all of the NGConf team, any vendor that we use, everyone involved in the conference has read and agreed prior to signing contracts with us to, uh, to abide by the code of conduct. And we expect everyone here, all the attendees as well, to abide by the code of conduct. And so we wanted to talk real quick about some of the things that you might want to avoid while you're here at the conference. Even if you're away from the venue, there's some things you, you should avoid this week. Yeah, and so the first thing is offensive language. And the best way to think about this is if you're saying, huh, this might offend somebody, don't say it. Next. Yeah. Just go to the next comment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Another thing is polarizing topics. And anymore, there's a lot of those. So if you got a topic, it might not jive with everyone. This isn't a good place to talk about it. Yeah, and so it's like, instead of, like, what can I talk about? And I think one of the great topics you can possibly talk about is this thing called Angular. We actually themed the conference this year around Angular. Yeah. I heard, I was like, this, this whole ng-conf is going to be about Angular The this whole year. thing. I'm so yeah. excited, just Angular. All three days. Yes. <laughs> it's a good topic. Um, yeah, so. Oh, so another thing that you want to avoid is furthering romantic interests. So we all want to be friends here, right? Let's stop it at friends. Yeah. Let's just all be friends. And I mean, like, you can further business interests. Yeah. That's great. Yep. Romantic interests, nah. Less. Nah. Not yeah. so much. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then uh, the last thing to, we kind of do zero tolerance on is, let's not be dishonest with each other, and let's not bully each other. Yeah. Um, and if you see any of these things going on, we expect everyone to get involved. Um, at, at a lot of conferences, it's really easy to make most of the people feel safe. It's really hard to make everyone feel safe. It takes the whole group of us to get everyone through this without making anyone feel unincluded, excluded. And, yeah, and I, like, I had a lot of bullying in high school, and I'm never going back there. Yeah. So I'm You're just, out. I'm, yeah, no way. Yeah. Not doing it again. And like, as we all know, friends don't tell lies. Friends don't tell lies. Yeah. So we have, we have three ways for you to report a code of conduct violation. Um, the first one is to find someone in ng-conf staff, find Sarah or I, or there's a bunch of people in the purple ng-conf staff t-shirts. Go find them, and all you have to say is, I need to report a code of conduct violation. We, there's like a whole process of things that happens at that point. We'll take you to a place where we can talk about it, where everyone's safe. So that's the first way. And that's all you need to say. All you need to say is, I have a code of conduct violation. You can whisper it in one of our ears, and we just go from there. Yep. Yes. And then the other way, if you want to be, if you're not comfortable doing it in person, you can send an email out to info at ngconf.org. Yep. And that's an easy way to kind of give us a, you can either just tell us where to find you or that you have a description of it. Um, and it's easier possibly than like doing in person. Yep. And code of, talking about these things is hard. Certain people it's harder. And um, so we have a, an anonymous hotline you could call even just to have a, a very anonymous conversation with us and talk to us about anything that's going on wrong. Um, if, that's, if, that, if you need that, that's there. It's also referenced in the app, so if you need to get to it, it's called the NGSAFE hotline. If you're after hours or if, if, if anything goes on this week and, and you need help from the conference team, you can open the app and you can give us a call and we'll, we'll make sure you're taken care of. Yes, yes. So we are so excited. This is NGConf 2018. I mean, how many people are like kind of excited to be here? Yeah. <laughs> A little bit. Yes. So 
like one thing to remember um, is that this is an amazing place to network because a lot of these people are dealing with the same things that you're dealing with or en are enjoying Angular, I mean. Um, so <laughs> just remember that like you're here to talk with people, you're here to kind of, you know, work together, learn about each other, anybody you've been following on Twitter that you want to talk to, all of the speakers, go talk to them. They're very nice people. Um, and yeah, just remember to have an amazing time. And uh, so now for the fifth time, we have the pleasure of introducing the keynote, which is directly from the Angular team. So let's welcome everybody, Brad, Mishko, and Kara to the stage.